Ooh, the nerve. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go on a limb and say that I will probably not be allowed back into the mines. I do kind of want to check, though. I don't know. We'll decide when we get there. I want to go to the village, regardless. You know what? No. I'm certain that they will not allow me back into the mines. Because they did the same... They did... Th they blocked off the... Sky Bandit Fortress as well, and I feel like if they were allowing me into the mine, then they would allow they would have allowed me in there. Oh. Hmm. It's okay to me. I think if Vince had been born into a merchant family, things would have been a real mess. For starters, he doesn't even like to study! Hmm... I'm not so sure about that there, Vince. Glad I started this place with lemon. Limon. Oh? Uh... This seems strictly better. It's a good price, though. As long as I don't go overboard on my spending. Are you okay? Are you here to buy some fruit? If you're looking for my husband, he's over at the village elder's house. who's gone out to a meeting is getting home late. I sure hope he can work out things with Gray. Those guys from the army are still standing guard outside the mine. Thank you for telling me so you're saving me ta the trip over. Whew. Now that we're We've got the saplings planted. We'll finally be able to take a break. Hmm. I want to grow delicious fruit in my own way. I can't agree with the use of machines. Man, those two could just learn to get along. I could head to Bose without any reservations. Hmm. Goodness, we can't seem to get anywhere with these talks. I'm not saying we should sacrifice the taste of the fruit and flavor of favorite shipping volume. I'm just saying we should learn to make the same quality of fruit, but more effectively. Honestly, I agree with Pesca here, so... Maybe it doesn't work? And then you just stop using the machines if it doesn't work. You already have the machines, so it's not like it'll cost you extra. Um, but if it does work, then you're better off. And if it doesn't work, then, well, you can just go back to how you were doing it before. That's really... It's really just that simple.
Okay then, well, um, I guess we'll head to the next region now. Oh, that was a big mistake. Should not have turned around. You are using magic. Uh, you cannot do that. Let's just use that. Well, that worked out well. Very worthwhile payoff, though. I feel like I should be able to rotate the camera in here. It hurts a bit that I can't. Um. finally made it up here. Once we pass through this checkpoint, we're supposed to be in the Ruin region, right? Hmm. But unfortunately, it's almost sundown. Maybe we should ask to let us stay here for the night. Hmm. Crossing through the pass at night would be dangerous. With our field of vision limited, we would be on bad footing. There's also the possibility we could fall off a cliff if we were, were attacked by nocturnal monsters. I wouldn't recommend it. You make a compelling argument, Joshua. Although, honestly, I kind of want to do what Estelle was suggesting. Minoria Village? Well, this is unusual. We don't get many travelers at this hour. Did you get lost hiking along the trail? Not exactly. We're bracers, just so you know. Uh, we're actually traveling around the kingdom to become senior bracers. And so we figured we'd travel on foot to get some training in instead of using the airliner. Maybe that's a bit of an overstatement. Oh? Oh. Suicide, you say? Okay, actually, I just want to point this out. I should not be able to see my shadow here, because we should be in the shadow of the building. I love the, the dynamic lighting in this game. It is terrific. But... But also, clearly, the structure does not have its own shadow. <laughs> okay, then. Are you... 
we apologize for intruding at this hour. But we are actually wondering. <laughs> Estelle tried to make her eyes as large and yearning as she could in hopes of scoring some free food as well. How friendly. So this is the room for travelers. Yep, let's get that fireplace on, shall we? Ah, so nice and warm. But you know, wood stoves just feel so much more cozy than these things. Yeah, I agree. Ornament stoves may heat up quickly, but the, and they're certainly efficient, but they can't compare with the feel of a real wood-burning stove. I'm sorry to bother you. I heard from the chief that you'll be staying the night. Also, Superfed did not host someone properly, so you're seeing me. Probably not for very long, because I'm not doing blood <laughs> But hi! I'm playing Trails! Enjoy or not, depending on what you'd like. Gotta love that auto host, though. Um, I heard from the chief that you'll be staying the night. If you need anything for dinner, we'll be happy to share what we have with you if you'd like. That'd be wonderful, thanks. No worries. After the airliners went into service, the number of travelers coming through here drastically decreased. Honestly, with all the free time we've got, we welcome any guests coming through here. <laughs> well, in that case, we'll really make sure to eat up. Oh, and, uh, full disclosure, I think it's Usher's night to cook, so I hope your stomachs aren't delicate. <laughs> yep, it looks like there are. Like, after the Sky Bandit bullshit, the obstruction that was going on there, it feels really nice to come to a military outpost where they're like, sort of, I don't want to say laid back because it is a military outpost, but certainly no, like, inter organizational rivalry. Actually, I suppose extra or organizational rivalry. Anyway. Although, I think Liberal is probably about the only place you're gonna find nice soldiers. Don't take me too seriously. I was just thinking out loud. In the meantime, let's put our bags down somewhere. Yeah, it was, uh, sort of like nothing I ever had before. Excuse me. Oh, sir, the meal was delicious. Thanks so much. Y yes Thank you. Really? You must have taste buds of iron, too. I mean, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. <laughs> anyway, we've got another guest. We've had another guest arrive. So if it's not too much trouble, could you two share the same room? Indeed. But no, we don't mind. It's not like we're paying to stay here anyway. I really appreciate that. He's actually in the same line of work as both of you, so I'm sure you'll get along just fine. Is it a gate? Hmm. I knew I'd seen you two somewhere before. It's a gate! Cool guy a gate. Who apparently is a big deal in some of the later games as well. I don't know. I I mean, like, genuinely I don't know. I've seen a couple screenshot that, shots that he's in. Really, that's about it. 
Heavy blade agate. Oh, so you know each other already. By the way, agate, what do you plan to do about dinner? I appreciate the invitation, but I had something before coming up here. All I need is somewhere to crash for the night. Go ahead and divide up the beds amongst yourselves. Now, if I remember right, weren't you Cassius's kids? What are you doing sleeping in a place like this? And what happened to Sherazard? Sherra returned to Roland. Now it's just the two of us traveling together. Yeah, that. We're gonna see the places we want to protect and train so that we can do it. You two really are a bunch of carefree brats, aren't you? There's no way the two of you are going to simply become senior bracers. Use your brains and think about it for a moment. Yeah! We did that thing! Oh, th that? I heard all about it from old man Lou Gran. Alright. Let me put it to you this way. Suppose you'd been the only ones there. Do you think you could have solved the incident? No. Just you two alone, without Sherazard's help. Actually, I think we could have done it without Sherazard. But definitely not alone. <laughs> That's pretty obvious when you think about it. You two are newbies and li well, that's rude. Not to mention, you're lacking in strength and experience. You don't have the ability to make quick, sound judgments. If you all if you get all caught up in yourselves, then forget that. One of these days, you're going to get the rug pulled out from under you. Eh, not most of the time, anyway. Good question. <laughs> Watch your mouth, brat. I'm trying to hone my skills, unlike you. I mean, that sounds exactly like what we amateurs are trying to do, actually. And besides, I'm here for work. Don't try and compare my actions with your tourist training. Yep, that's right. The work your old man forced on me. Forget about it. I've got an early day ahead of me, so I need to get some rest. You two quit talking and get some sleep too. Well, he did drop a little tidbit about Dad. That's something at least. Enough already, you two! Just shut the hell up and let me sleep. Wild okay. Gate, calm the calm down. And you better stop poking around where you shouldn't, or you're gonna get burned. Instead, why don't you two... Why don't you get your behinds over to Rouen, and do some jobs listed on the bulletin board? Uh, I mean... That was sort of the plan? He does seem to have a problem with, uh, with oh, Father Bright, whose name has already dropped out of my memory. It's not Lucius, because that's what I said before and that was wrong. Um, I don't remember. Relax, Estelle. It's true we're still just novices, after all. It could be he just said that because he's worried about us. Or you could be a big jerk, you know, either or. Actually, no. It's not or a jerk, it's and a jerk. <laughs> I wish I could say for sure, but I don't know. He did definitely get one thing right. We should turn in for the night. We still got a hike down the pass tomorrow.
Yes. Doodle. 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 Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm ready to take over for you. Unfortunately, rules are rules, and it's our job to follow them. We've just got to get over the Sky Bennett mess, and now things seem to be going downhill. Did you hear something? It sounds like some rustling leaves. Well, that can't be good. 